Hello YouTube, Jose Carlos for JPAD TV and today I'm going to show you how to do end caps. And today's video was actually requested by a couple of our subscribers and I also want to give big thanks to all of y'all that have been subscribing to the channel and uh, watching the videos. Uh, it's, I mean we've had the channel for like maybe a little bit over three months and to almost have a hundred subscribers uh, it just feels really good to us and I just want to give thanks. And please keep subscribing. I'm going to keep posting the videos, both English and in Spanish. You know, some people, they like to have them in English. Some other people like prefer Spanish. So I'm going to just keep on doing what, what we've been doing. And ho hopefully I keep subscribing and keep liking the videos. And uh, we're going to move forward. So here in our piece of insulation, we have a flange. So on this flange, we're going to need two types of end caps. So we need the whole end cap and then we need the regular end cap which is just the finish. So on this instance you have to do end cap on each side and then you have to cover it. But also what I'm going to show you how to do with this end cap since we're already doing it. I'm going to show you how to draw a star into the end cap. It just gives it a, a more cleaner look or a little bit of a, a good look finish that uh, us uh, mechanics we like to kind of put that star there just to give it a nice touch and uh, customers appreciate it a lot and it actually looks good on you also. So for this video we're gonna need a thin measuring tape, a pair of snips, a pair of dividers, Your notchers, center punch, circumference ruler, and your bender, and also something to write with. We would also need a straight edge, and a square. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the uh, size of our pipes. So for our um, end cap, you're going to measure the diameter of the end cap. So on this instance it measures 11. And for this side, you'll measure around the pipe, measure 21 and a half, and right here, measure 34 and a half. Now if you don't have the circumference ruler, you will just get the diameter of the pipe that you're installing here in the middle, and the diameter of the pipe, of the bigger pipe. So in this instance, it will be 11. So 11 here, 11 here, and whatever diameter it gives you from the smaller pipe. So first we're gonna start with uh, doing our, our end cap with the hole in it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark a straight edge. Next, using our dividers, we're gonna adjust them to half of the measurement of the big pipe in our circumference ruler, so. Our big pipe measured 34 and a half, so half of the 34 and a half would be 17 and a quarter. So we adjust our, our dividers. 17 and a quarter. Now if you don't have a uh, circumference ruler, what you would do is just open your dividers to half of your diameter, which in this case the diameter was 11, so you would open your uh, dividers to five and a half. Now using our dividers, we mark two half circles. So that'll be our end caps. One thing I forgot to mention that uh, one of your half circles has to have a lap on it. So if you notice on this one, I started the end cap 
with my, my dividers on the edge of the, of the line and on the other one I left the space about three quarters of an inch and that's where I started my end cap. So. Next thing we're gonna adjust our dividers to half of the smaller pipe uh, measurement so the pipe was 21 and a half so now we're going to adjust our dividers to 10 and 3 quarters. If you don't have your circumference ruler, you would just get the uh, half of the diameter of the smaller pipe and just adjust your uh, dividers to it. Now we're going to mark a smaller circles. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark a three quarter inch lap for our outside lap. So from the edge of the bigger circle, you're going to mark three quarters out. Now we're going to adjust our dividers from the center of the circle to the outside lap. Now let's mark our lap. Next we're going to do is uh, we're going to cut our, our end caps off. We should. Now using our notchers, we're going to uh, notch out our lap. Once you have your uh, notchers done, you're going to bend the, the teeth 90 degrees. So now our end caps with the holes are done. Now that we're done with our uh, hole end caps, now we're going to do our finishing circle end cap. So first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to open our dividers to half of the diameter of the end cap, which was 11. So we're going to open it to five and a half. Now once, once your, your uh, dividers are adjusted, you're going to draw your circle. You're going to draw a full circle. Now we're going to mark a uh, 3 quarter inch lap from the end of the circle outside. Next you're going to uh, adjust your dividers to the marking. Now that you have your uh, both circles, your your end cap and then your uh, lap, you, we're gonna divide this circle into four pieces. So we're gonna use our square here. So you're gonna put your square from the uh, center of your end cap, and you're gonna mark. Now 
our next step is we uh, get one of the lines and we're gonna get uh, half of the measurement of the line from the center of the circle to the end of the end cap in this instance the middle is five and a half so it's gonna be two three quarters next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab from the center of our marking to the other line across and we adjust our dividers now already with our compass we go from this marking we're gonna do another marking to where our compass meets the other line so our next mark uh, we're gonna adjust our dividers again from the edge of the circle to the new marking that we just made so. so now that our compass is adjusted from this point to this marking this should be the marking of our star now we divide our circle into five points Now using our square, we're going to connect our lines. Now with the help of our square, uh, using our center punch, we're going to draw the outside lines to give it that star look on the end cap Now that we have our star marked, uh, we're going to cut our end cap out. Now using our notchers, we're going to take our lap out now we bend our our teeth 90 degrees So now our end cap with the star is done. So now we install our end caps. So once you have your uh, end caps installed, uh, like I have here, you can put a piece of tape or something just to hold them in place while you put your piece of metal over it. So now that you have your uh, piece cut, then you install it over the flange.
So once you have your uh, piece that goes over the flange already installed, then you're pretty much done. Both of your end caps are in. And uh, also remember that with end caps or in any metal that you do, you have to put caulking on every seam, aluminum caulking on every seam, and uh, you have to put uh, your uh, aluminum screws also. So other than that, we're done. If you enjoyed today's video and you learned something new, please don't forget to like, comment, and share. And also please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you will know every time we, we post a new video. Also, if you have any suggestions for any new videos, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to reply as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.